Hello, in this tutorial we're going to learn how to make a low poly rocket launcher. So I'm going to start off by deleting everything. And I'm also going to enable screencast keys so you know what keys I'm using just in case. So I'll start off by creating a cylinder. And we want it 12 faces. Yeah, that sounds good. So we're going to rotate this on the X 90 degrees. And I'm going to move this back a little bit and scale this on all axes except the Y. So that sounds good. And I'm going to scale this up. Let me move this a bit towards this area. And this is going to be the back, by the way. I'm going to extrude. I want to do another extrusion scale. Extrude. And I want you to do an entity face. So this will be like the back, and like in the back, there's like some sort of hole. I'm just going to scale this down. And that seems to look pretty good. So this will be the back. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to extrude. Scale, move back a little bit. And we want to keep going with this shape. I want you to extrude again. And we sort of almost want the same um, diameter in this circle as we do over here. Well, maybe not as quite, just a little bit less. Something like that. And we're, we'll keep going by extruding and extruding once more and scaling down. So I'm going to move all this back. I'm actually just going to scale this down so it's more manageable. So I want to grab this face and I'm just going to scale. Actually, we don't want to do this as small, a bit bigger. Something like that. There we go. And we want to just extrude. Extrude again, scale a bit down. Actually, scale quite a bit down. And just go up to here. So pretty much this is the base. So I guess you could make a circle over here. I'm uh, sorry, a hole. And let's just add a few more details. So let's do a loop cut over here. Let's press I to enter the face and scale shift Y to scale up just a little bit. Uh, not a little bit more, so it's noticeable. And that looks good. So something that uh, normally RPGs have are like, not the game obviously, the, the weapon. They have like some things going on over here. So we can do another circle. So I mean, sorry, cylinder. Rotate this on the X, and, oh, not delete. Rotate this on the X, 90 degrees. Scale on the Y, and scale down. And when we have this, and when we have this, what we want to do is go into edit mode. And we want a loop cut here and a loop cut over there. And let's add the, let's select the snapping. And let's press GG. So we can slide. Does it look symmetrical? Not quite. Maybe now? Mm, let's make this a bit smaller. Yeah, now it looks symmetrical. So what we're going to do is extrude. And we want to take off snapping. 
so that's way too high so let's move this over here there we go shift dy place one actually we want to place one here and we want to scale and we want another one in the back right over there awesome and I guess we can add a bit more of detail here trouble selecting this loop cut oh there we go sorry about that so i'm going to insert scale shift y and that seems to look pretty nice to me so let's center the cursor and i'm going to create a cube and i want to try to make the aimings the site so we'll scale this on the x scale this on the z and before we keep going i'm actually going to do a mirror modifier oops i want to delete the faces add a modifier mirror and we want this on the z no on the y Let's do an inset face. Let's move this down here. Let's add, let's make sure we have clipping. And we want to delete that face. And we want to make sure it's kind of uh, cylinder looking. Uh, oops. Let's select the ones on top as well. We could have done a boolean, but I figured it would take too much. So that looks pretty nice. And I want you to do a loop cut over here. And two loop cuts over here. And I'm going to select these faces. Move these down. And I'm also going to do a small bevel down here. Although it's actually, no, let's not do that. And just to finish, we actually want to do we actually want to do a boolean so what we want to do shift s and we want cursor to select it and with that on we want a cylinder this time let's make it eight vertices rotate this on the x 90 degrees sorry on the y and let's go this down And I want you to do, use a mirror modifier. I'm just going to make these flat. So select this piece, press apply. And we want to do a Boolean. We want to select these cylinders and we want a difference. Let's press apply. So there we go there we have our holes it's, it look pretty nice and we also want to add two more loops just like this and we want to select these extrude 
Let's do the street a bit more. We want to select these vertices, I mean, sorry, edges. And we want to scale these on the Y. And I guess we could even add more pieces to this. So let's do a, make a cube. And let's move this over here. And let's scale this on the X a little bit more. And let's grab this face, extrude, sorry, move up. And we want to do an extrusion just like this. So now what we're going to do, let's center the cursor and let's add one more piece, which is also pretty important. And actually we could just double this Shift D Y and move it over here. Let's actually make these go up. I want to select this one over here, grab this face and move them down just like that. So now what we have to do, actually, we need to move this one over here. So now what we want, need to do, we need to make two handles, one over here and one over there. So let's center the cursor. Let's add a cube. Let's make that smaller on the X. And also on the Y. And we want to go into edit mode. Add some bevel. And we also want to, well, before we, before we add the bevel, we want to make a loop cut. And we want to extrude. Um, actually, instead of extruding, we're going to do a loop cut over here. We want to extrude this. We want to move this up just like that. And the same over here, but not as much. I want to select this, um, these faces and move them up just a little bit, not too much. And now we do want to add those bevels. So we just need one more handle but this handle is going to re it will have a trigger so it's just shift d y so we have the um the width that we have over here and we want to move this down and now what we want to do is we want to extrude scale and y And we just want to move this up. So now I want to make a loop cut. I want to extrude. And we're going to get the normal. Actually, no. Let's not make it too complicated. Let's just add a loop cut over here. And let's just extrude this on the Z. So shift Z zero, let's make a loop cut over here. Let's delete this face. It won't be necessary. And let's join those two. So now I want you grab, I want you select these edges and S zero. 
and apparently we did not we do not want to select those okay we're doing something wrong let's press slash okay there we go so now we can do scale c0 and we want to select these edges just make them go up so now the only remaining piece is the trigger so let's do shift c a cube let's make this go down let's make this small smaller shift y and we want to extrude rotate this on the x extrude again and that should actually do well actually let's add a bit more detail here And let's also finish off by adding some bevels. Just like that. So it doesn't seem like I'm missing anything at all. So if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Bye.